Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen and honoured guests. Welcome to this afternoon's convocation ceremony as we celebrate our graduates in the degree, applied degree, diploma and certificate programs in our Faculty of Health and Community Studies. Before I continue, I just want to take this opportunity to uh, acknowledge this very talented group of individuals standing behind me who comprise the McEwen University Jazz Band under the direction of Raymond Burry. Please join me in a big round of applause for their musical performance this afternoon. We will commence the official ceremony in just a couple of moments, and I have just a couple of housekeeping items that I'd like to uh, bring to your attention before we begin this afternoon's ceremony. The Windspear Center is an acoustically responsive hall, and with that in mind, and in respect of this afternoon's ceremony, we would ask that if you are carrying any electronic devices, that you take a moment now to turn those off, or at minimum, put them on vibrate uh, for the duration of this afternoon's ceremony. In terms of photography, uh, we do want to let you know that there is a professional photographers that are on site that will be taking pictures of graduates as they, cross as they move across the stage and collect their parchments. And uh, you will probably notice that when you came into the uh, Windspear this afternoon that just by the front doors there are two major McEwen University backdrops and we would certainly encourage you to make use of those for taking uh, pictures of your graduates uh, and as well as any family uh, photos that you want to take uh, in that space there. There are ushers that will be assisting uh, the traffic flow there so that everyone gets an opportunity to take photos should they wish to do so. Finally, if you do want to take pictures uh, while the, your graduate is receiving their, their parchment, you are certainly welcome to do so. We will invite you just to the right side of the stage here, my left, your right, uh, right in front of the stage. You can uh, congregate there and uh, take a picture of your uh, graduate as they walk across the stage and receive their parchment from uh, Dr. Atkinson this afternoon, the university's president. We would ask that you come down to that space only about 10 people in advance of when your graduate is expected across the floor just to kind of help with congestion in that area. There will be ushers there to assist you. And then we'd ask that you return to your seats uh, following taking your pictures, uh, again, just to kind of help with the flow of traffic through that area. As I mentioned, we are just a couple of moments away from the start of our ceremony this afternoon, but we do have one more, uh, we do, do have time for one more additional musical selection from our uh, jazz band. So please sit back and enjoy, and we'll be right back. Thank you.
Let's keep it going for the McEwen University Jazz Band. Another big round of applause. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, if you are able, I would ask that you please rise at this time. It is my pleasure to introduce to you today Marian Anderson, the chair of the Psychiatric Nursing Program in the Faculty of Health and Community Studies. Ms. Anderson is serving as our mace bearer for this afternoon's ceremony and is carrying the university mace, which was donated to the university in 1997 by its namesake, Dr. Grant McEwen. It became the official, the official mace in 2008. It is especially meaningful to the university as it was the walking stick that was hand carved by Dr. McEwen. Further information on the mace as well as other convocation traditions can be found in your convocation program. Please remain standing now for the academic processional.
Good afternoon, graduates, distinguished guests, members of the stage party, faculty, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike Seklich, University Registrar and Marshal of Convocation. Please remain standing and in respect, remove all hats except mortarboards for the singing of our national anthem led by Ms. Shannon Hunt. seated. Thank you, Ms. Hunt. I declare McEwen University Convocation open. It is intended to honor our 2014 graduates, and we are honored to have you present with us on this occasion. The word convocation comes from the Latin word convoco, which means to call together by summons. It is traditionally used in connection with an ecclesiastical or academic gathering. Convocations are called for the conferring of degrees, diplomas, certificates, for special announcements, and for the recognition of outstanding achievement. So it is today, we call colleagues and friends together to honor McEwen University's graduates and award recipients for spring 2014 convocation. For the invocation, I now call upon Mr. Ray Khan, student member of our Board of Governors. Thank you, Mike. <clears throat> It is, my pleasure <clears throat> Excuse me. it is my pleasure today to read the, con the invocation. Through learning, we flourish and help others to flourish. We stand here today on the brink of an important change for ourselves and for the world. Inspired by the past, we now step forward to transform the future. Engaging with others, we cherish the diversity of experience within our communities and ourselves. Through perseverance, we excel. Through compassion, we connect. Through creativity, we thrive. Through knowledge, we grow. Through all this and more, let us forge a legacy to nurture, to inspire, and to endure. We pledge to leave the world better than we found it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kahn. I will now introduce members of the stage party Members of the stage party, please remain standing once you've been called upon. Audience, I would ask you to please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. I would like to start with Mr. Willie Grieve, a public member of our Board of Governors. President Dr. David Atkinson, 
Vice President, Student Services, Catherine Heslop, and Academic Governance Council Vice Chair, Mr. Chris Hancock. Would our members of the Board of Governors please rise? Now, Vice Presidents and Associate Vice Presidents, please rise. Deans, Associate Deans, members of the University's administration, Associate Registrars, Academic Directors, please rise. Representatives of each of our associations, faculty, staff, student, and Alumni Advisory Council, please rise. Now, I ask our mace bearer and award recipients to stand and be recognized. Joining us here today are members of our academic faculty and staff. Will all faculty and staff of the university please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, this is your stage party. This is your university. Please join me now in a round of applause acknowledging them. Please be seated. I will now call upon Willie Grieve, public board member, to bring greetings on behalf of McEwen University's Board of Governors. Thank you. Well, welcome every, everyone, and thanks for coming today. It's, uh, this is an important occasion for, uh, for all of us. My name is Willie Grieve and I serve on the University's Board of Governors and I'm very happy indeed it's an honor and a privilege for me to speak to you today. Before I begin I want to recognize uh, Ray Kahn who you've already met, our student member on the board uh, who's here with us today. I'd also like to welcome our special on-stage guests and some of them will be introduced to you later uh, and the friends and families of our graduates of course. Thank you all for your support, your presence here and in the lives of our students has helped them get to this point in their lives and we commend and congratulate you for that. Convocation is the perfect time to celebrate our students and recognize their achievements. We have students about to head off to graduate schools around the world. Others are about to bring, uh, begin careers that come as a result of their hard work and dedication to their studies. Still others are participating in research in all disciplines and receiving grants to support their work. We have students and alumni writing books, writing music, like how about that arrangement of O Canada by, uh, by one of our uh, alum and the head of our music department. Winning awards, traveling the world, and helping out their community. This is life at McEwen University. It has been your life as students, and it will continue to be your life as alumni. My hope is that even after today's celebrations, you will follow the news from our university, and we hope you will share your news with us through the Alumni Relations Office. Recently, uh, we've been in the headlines for our new Center for Arts and Culture building that will begin construction this fall. The new building will allow us to move forward with our downtown campus strategy to consolidate operations at our city center campus. It's exciting news, not only for future faculty of fine arts and communication students, but also for the entire university community, including you, our newest alumni. The Center for Arts and Culture will be something to behold. Designed by architect Bing Tom, the new campus building will open in the fall of 2017, and it will be a place that will enhance the university experience for all of our students. The Center for Arts and Culture is a testament to our commitment to making our community a better place. By striving to create spaces in downtown Edmonton that, we are, that are both practical and beautiful, we reflect our forward-thinking community and our shared desire to build our downtown. Since the construction of the city center campus some 20 years ago, McEwen University has shown it is serious about city building, and this is only the beginning. Yet a building is so much more than bricks and mortar. The structures we create only come to life through the people who live, work, and learn inside them. 
We know that great buildings define a city, but it's the people for whom these buildings are constructed that are the heart and soul that contributes to the cultural vibrancy of our city. This building will provide spaces for our students and faculty to learn and grow as they pursue any number of creative and academic endeavors. Our new space is also a gateway to our neighboring communities and a hub for the people throughout the city, including you. And it is part of our growing and evolving campus, building on our framework for knowledge and education, a celebration of education, which after all is the very reason we're here today. Every one of you has dedicated hundreds, if not thousands of hours to your degree, diploma, or certificate. Your education began before you came to university. Some of you arrived from high school while others went straight into the workforce and experienced the first part of your professional education on the job. A university education is about finding clarity and passion and defining your future. Sometimes the inspiration for the rest of your life journey happens while you're getting your education. Other times that inspiration happens out in the world. We have had students like Suzanne Ozar, an alum of the Special Needs Educational Assistant Pro Program. Excuse me. After 20 years in the workforce, Suzanne chose to enroll in the program as a way to help in homeschooling her son. We now have an alum in the workforce who, inspired by her son, applies her experiences and education toward helping children with special needs every day. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is quoted as saying, intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. I hope in your time at McEwen University you have honed your intellect, not only to give you the knowledge you need for your chosen profession, but to reveal to you the value of learning and your demonstrated capacity for learning. And I hope these experiences have built a strength of character that will be the foundation for your success. I know the education you have received will serve you well, but remember, a university education enhances your potential to become better and gives you the tools to succeed. Whatever stage of your life you were in when you came to university, now you're entering a new stage with hundreds of other graduates. You're moving out into the community now, honing your skills and picking up new ones because your education does not end today. In many ways, today marks the end of the beginning of a lifetime of education and growth. And as you're growing, so too will this institution. As we move toward our 50th anniversary in 2021, we remain focused on providing the best for our students and the best return for our supporters. We will continue growing and maturing just as you will, and together we will work to leave the world a better place than we found it. I know many of you will do amazing things in our community and beyond, and I encourage you to make it a part of your life, to give to the community in any way that you can. And I can assure you there are many opportunities to give in many different ways. I look forward to seeing what you do and how you make our community better. It's been no secret that McEwen University wants to provide the best for its students the best learning experience, the best faculty members, the best resources and opportunities, and the best facilities. At our Board of Governors meetings, all decisions are tested through our number one purpose, students first. But we also want to create a place that you, our alumni, can return to. So as we open the doors to our university to send you out into the world, we want you to know that those doors will always be open to you to come back for a visit, to come back to celebrate with us the accomplishments of our students, faculty, and alumni, and to come back to share the heart and spirit of our university. Congratulations, graduates. Well done. Thank you, Mr. Grieve. I now call upon McEwen University's president, Dr. David Atkinson, to address today's graduates.
Members of the Board of Governors, distinguished guests, faculty, and staff, friends, and always on this occasion, most important, our graduates. Welcome everyone to Spring Convocation for 2014. It is the most important event of the university calendar, signaling as it does both an ending and a beginning. It is an ending in that all of our graduates today are finishing their programs of study at McEwen. It is a beginning because what you have achieved here is the beginning of something else, as we hope you build on what you have learned here. I wish to recognize and congratulate you all our graduates this afternoon. We are proud of what you have accomplished, for there is really no better measure of a university's success than the success of its students. Many of you have family and friends here today, a lot of them actually, and we recognize you for how you have supported your student over the last few years and for how you are here to celebrate with your student the important achievement that Convocation represents. Always on these occasions, however, it is a moment for some good news and for some advice. First, to parents. Your student, you need to know, is finally off the family payroll. And I'm not joking. <laughs> and even better, we hope, this might be too much to hope, out of the basement. <laughs> but here, though, I should mention, I'm reminded of comments made by one of our Distinguished Citizen Award recipients early this week, who in fact reminded us that not all students, in fact, move out of the basement. And in fact, some come back. But here I give a very particular piece of advice to students. Pay rent. Convocation is when we stop for a moment to celebrate the university's achievements, to remember its importance and what we aspire to do here, and on this occasion to recognize the achievements of all of you, our students. This is at once exciting and momentous. It is a day not to be forgotten. Universities are about tradition, as everyone who works and teaches at McEwen University and who study here makes a contribution to our evolving history. We dress up in these rather strange medieval robes for a reason. They connect us with history and to its continuity. We need to remember and to be part of McEwen's history. It is important. But this is not about hanging on to the past. Rather, it is about the excitement of building new things on past achievements. And certainly here at McEwen, we have been marching down an exciting path which defines the university for the future, a new vision, a new set of goals, a new plan. And what these reaffirm is that McEwen is a university which defines comprehensiveness in a different way. Hundreds have been involved in this exercise, faculty, staff, students, members of our board, community supporters, and it is their collective wisdom that has shaped the exciting possibilities for McEwen in the future. Even though we enthusiastically embrace our future as a university, we must not forget our past and all those who have worked so hard to make McEwen the institution we know and in which we believe. We recognize our faculty and staff, each of whom contributes to our university. Universities are about people coming together, and in this they share a single ambition, to learn. The first-year student and the most senior professor 
have a single common goal, driven as it is by that which most characterizes us as human beings, the need to know and to understand. The coming year will be an important one for us as McEwen continues to assert and to celebrate its identity as Edmonton's downtown university and to contribute to the city which for the last 40 years has supported McEwen so well and has provided us with a home. Just as Edmonton has done so much for McEwen, the university has a responsibility to make a real and lasting contribution to our city. And most certainly we do. We provide facilities and programming to the community. We contribute to the local economy. We make Edmonton an attractive place for people to live. And we reach out through our students and faculty to engage the community and to make it a better place for everyone. McEwen enjoys a special place in the minds and hearts of Edmontonians. It enjoys a connectedness to community which it values and which it must continue to nurture. The most important thing we do, however, is graduate you, our students. It is our students who provide the human capital that will drive and enhance the future of our city, our province, and our country. It is you, our graduates, who will make the world a better place. In so doing, we encourage you to experience the world in which you live. No person should live in isolation. We are all connected, and we hope you take from your time here an appreciation of the different and differing perspectives that enrich the world in which we all live. The last few months have been very important for McEwen as we move ahead with centralizing our operations on the city center campus. And at the end of August, our south campus, which has served us so well, will close. And we will welcome its faculty and staff and students to our city center campus. In September as well, we begin the next important stage of McEwen's development on its city center campus. And here, it is important to pause for a moment to realize that we have chosen to construct a new building which is aptly named the Center for Arts and Culture. It says a lot. McEwen has long been known for its programs in the visual and performing arts, and our graduates have enjoyed impressive careers as artists, designers, musicians, and actors, and have taken leadership roles in the arts community in Edmonton and around the world. Growing on these achievements, the new center, a $153 million structure designed by international architect Bing Tom, will provide an additional opportunity for all of our students to engage with the arts. That this new building will allow for future growth at McEwen University is an added bonus as McEwen increasingly becomes an institution for first choice among students. It will accommodate new programs for our students in keeping with our ambition to be best in class as an undergraduate university. It will bring us an opportunity to be truly distinctive offering programs of study that bring singular attention to McEwen. Our numbers keep growing, and I suspect in the coming years this will be a challenge for us. But we understand that whatever we do, we cannot do anything that might compromise the sense of community that students find appealing about McEwen. This center is more than a new building. What is important is what it signals and represents to everyone. It is about enriching the educational experience for all students, for of allowing disciplines to blend and thus enrich the already rich learning environment of McEwen, and to demonstrate McEwen's support of Edmonton's cultural life and its already vibrant arts community. 
We all recognize in this world the importance of science and mathematics. We pay attention to the professions crucial to our well-being. But sometimes we dismiss the arts as a leisure activity, and in so doing, we overlook something terribly important. That it is the imagination that drives everything you do. It is where imagination and creativity intersect that the true achievement lies. And this is, after all, where the arts exist. And so, as McEwen celebrates, continues to celebrate this commitment, the extraordinary building we will be constructing as iconic as the towers which already represent McEwen will send a powerful signal about our values and our place in our city. But while we need, indeed must, celebrate what the human imagination brings us, we need also to understand that the good life we enjoy results from what we do for one another. The human sciences represented so well this afternoon at this convocation focus very simply on helping the rest of us. They constitute a noble calling, and we thank all of you who have made this choice. As society becomes more complex, as we live longer, as more and more people are in need, and as social breakdown regrettably becomes more common, we need those who will provide the guidance and leadership necessary to find and provide solutions. We need to live in a safe and secure world. And it is you, the graduates of our Faculty of Health and Community Studies, who, inspired by the altruism of serving others, form the bedrock of McEwen University. To all of you today, to all the students here this afternoon, we offer our respect and our congratulations. But in saying this, I return to where I started. Universities are institutions of learning, and learning takes many forms, as is so represented today. Understanding the truth are elusive. And so McEwen, as a growing and ambitious institution, remains committed to celebrating knowledge in whatever form it takes. You, our graduates, are part of this legacy, regardless of what you have studied. Never be reduced to pedestrian predictability, to the ordinary, to the safe. Listen to your imagination and to the possibilities it suggests for it is here that the true richness of life lies. Everyone here wants the best for you. We will continue to watch, knowing that in whatever you build, you leave a legacy of McEwen University behind. Congratulations to all of you, and enjoy this very special day with your family and friends. Thank you, President Atkinson. Now, I'd like to call upon Mr. Braden Arth of the Alumni Advisory Council to introduce our distinguished alumna, Ms. Patricia Garrett. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Well, good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the McEwen Alumni Relations and Services, I would like to welcome you as the newest alumni convocation. Each year, the Board of Governors and Alumni Relations recognizes the contributions and achievement of one of our very own alumni. It is now my privilege to introduce you to Miss Patricia Garrett. Since 1989, Patricia has been the Executive Director of Wings of Providence, a housing agency and program to 
provide support for women and children who have experienced family violence. Under Pat's leadership, Wings recently expanded and built a $6.5 million third stage housing apartment building. This building, the home next door, provides additional low cost long term housing units for women and children. Pat has been instrumental in guiding the development of Wings through its early days from a 12 suite apartment building to the major agency it is today. In 2003, she led the development of a new building that includes a six month intensive second stage program providing security, housing and safety for over 20 families. Over the past two years, she has led the development of the home next door where 29 families can live for a further two years while they develop independence and healthy relationships. To date, Wings has served over 980 families and 2,300 children. A strong supporter of education, Pat has been a member of uh, McEwen University Social Work Advisory Committees for the past three years. She provides consistent and ongoing leadership opportunities for social work students to complete their field placements with several becoming employees of Wings following their graduation. Thank you, Pat. Thank you very much, Braden, for your kind remarks. I'm honored to be with you here today, and I wish to thank McEwen University and the Alumni Relations and Services for this honor. Over 30 years ago, I graduated with a social work diploma and was excited about the future path my chosen profession and career would take me. I can honestly tell you today that I never once regretted my decision to become a social worker. Were there days I felt stressed, overwhelmed, or concerned for a client? Absolutely. However, it has been a privilege and so rewarding to walk beside people on their journey of healing and empowerment. I cannot think of a more gratifying and rewarding career than making a difference to individuals and communities. As you hold your degree, diploma, or certificate today, know that all the experiences, lessons, and relationships that were a part of achieving, it will not only help you build your careers, but it will also play a part in your future personal success. I would like to encourage each and every one of you to invite a future full of passion and determination that will drive you to lifelong learning and a commitment to making a difference. To quote Anatole France, to accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream, not only plan, but also believe. How do we keep this passion alive? I can share with you some of the things that have benefited me over the years. Have mentors in your life. Collaborate with your colleagues. And ask for support or to debrief on a regular basis. Expand your opportunities by reading, doing your research, attending workshops, courses, furthering your education. Remember your self-care. That work-life balance is so important to revitalize and nourish your soul. Don't take yourself too seriously. And remember to laugh. And yes, shed, shed some tears. Remember the golden rule and treat others with respect. And to quote Maya Angelou, I've learned that people will never forget, well, people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget 
how you made them feel. So congratulations to all the 2014 McEwen graduates. Be proud and stay strong. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Garrett, for sharing your wisdom and experience with our graduates. I would like to now invite Catherine Haslip, Vice President, Student Services, to the podium to introduce this year's Distinguished Teaching Award recipients. Thank you, Mike, and good afternoon, everyone. It is my utmost pleasure to present today's Distinguished Teaching Awards. The Distinguished Teaching Award is given to individuals who demonstrate excellence in teaching by responding to the needs of students. Recipients of this award connect with, engage, and inspire students in the learning process, create a positive learning environment, use innovative teaching methods, and model professional attitudes and values. Today, our Distinguished Teaching Award winner is Dr. Gerard Balfai. Unfortunately, Gerard could not be with us today, but we will take this opportunity to recognize the overall impact he has had on students enrolled in the Child and Youth Care Program. Please join me in recognizing him. Thank you, Ms. Heslip, and again, congratulations to Dr. Belfi. I'd like to ask Ms. Heslip to remain at the podium and now invite Mr. Chris Hancock, Academic Governance Council Vice Chair, to this podium for the presentation of graduands and the conferring of credentials. On behalf of the faculties and schools of McEwen University, I present these graduates and those named in the convocation program who are not at this ceremony. I ask that they be pledged and admitted to the McEwen University degrees, applied degrees, diplomas, and certificates which they have earned. Graduates, would you please rise for the pledge? Good afternoon, graduates. I'd ask you now to join in the university's uh, McEwen University Graduate Pledge. So this pledge is not an oath, but an expression of purpose. And we hope that you would respond with, I will. So will you pledge yourself to use the knowledge, experience, and skills that you've gained at McEwen University to serve your community and the world faithfully? Excellent. By virtue of the authority vested by me in the province of Alberta and upon the recommendation of McEwen's Academic Governance Council, I admit to you the degree, applied degree, diploma, or certificate to which you're entitled. And I invest in you all the rights and the privileges and the powers that you, uh, and responsibilities, so you have to remember that part, <laughs> pertaining to that credential. Now I, just, I'll try again. now I bestow upon you this credential as a solemn trust to transform, to engage, and improve this world from this day forth to teach and to learn from others so that through your learning you may flourish. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you, Ms. Heslip and AGC Vice Chair Hancock. Now, 
our marshals will usher graduates to the stage. We welcome back the McEwen University Jazz Band as the graduates are being assembled. Upside down, I'm gonna live, live, live till I die. They're gonna say what I got. I'm gonna play for the stars. Ain't gonna miss a thing. I'm gonna have a fling. I'm gonna live, live, live till I die. The blues I lay low, I'll make them stay low. They'll never trail over my head. I'll be a devil till I'm an angel, but until then. Take a chance, riding high. Before my number's up, I'm gonna fill my cup. I'm gonna live, 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 live till I die. McEwen University Jazz Band. We will now commence with the individual presentation of our graduates. We would like to remind you that if you wish to take photos of your graduate, please come to the area at the right of the stage as we approach your graduate's name on the program. An usher will assist you to ensure the smooth flow of people in and out of the area. With the exception of those taking photos, we ask that you remain seated during the presentation out of respect for all graduates and their families. Offering congratulations to each graduate, our public board member, Willie Grieve, Student Services Vice President, Catherine Heslip, AGC Vice Chair, Chris Hancock. President David Atkinson will present each graduate with their credential on stage. He will be assisted by associate registrars, Mr. Tony Norad and Ms. Frances Billingsley. Off stage to your right is Mr. Greg Monroe, alumnus of McEwen University. Mr. Monroe will present each graduate with a gift on behalf of the McEwen University Alumni Advisory Council. I would ask graduates to return to their seats after receiving their credentials. And now, I call upon Dean Bookhalter, Dean of the Faculty of Health and Community Studies, to present those graduates. Good afternoon, everyone. The Faculty of Health and Community Studies is committed to preparing graduates for professional human service practice. Our aim is to enhance the health, safety, and well-being of our communities. At yesterday's and today's ceremonies, we will be recognizing 838 graduates 
representing 23 programs in health and community studies. This afternoon, we acknowledge the achievement of graduates in a number of our programs, showcasing the rich diversity of programming in health and community studies. So, it is with great pleasure that I present to you the following candidates for certificates, diplomas, applied degrees, and degrees in the Faculty of Health and Community Studies. To begin, I'd like to welcome the Chair of the Child and Youth Care Program to lead our graduates for, for the Bachelor of Child and Youth Care degree. Please welcome Chair Donna Jamieson. Shelby Lee Arthur. Megan Elise Downey. Cassandra Joanne Ekdal with distinction. Robin Leanne Farina. Krista Haff. <laughs> Jennifer Nicole Hilditch. Christina Marie Hoekstra. Sierra Lee Howe. <laughs> Rainil Ashu Karan. <laughs> John Lendrick Kenny. Lauren Nicole Kent. <clears throat> Miriam Elissa Clusey, with distinction. <clears throat> Brittany Ann Mallow. Cynthia Ann Martell. <clears throat> Tanya Diane Marie McConnell. <clears throat> Rochelle Marianne Mendez. Christina Brooke Menegozo. <laughs> Tessa Marie Elsa Mulcair. <laughs> Kari Rebecca Quist with distinction. Amanda Donna Rice with distinction. Yeah. 
Christopher Vincent J. Severite. Shireen Pratika Singh. And lastly, Kimberly Gale Thompson with distinction. And now to lead graduates for Bachelor of Applied Human Service Administration degree, please welcome Program Chair Pat Moore-Jiswishan. Rena Louise Chiovelli with distinction. Laura Christine Hill, with distinction. <laughs> Judy Marlene Miller, with distinction. <laughs> Kaylee Ann Noel, Deborah Louise Shaw, with distinction. And lastly, John Paul Yos, with distinction. And now, please welcome back Chair Donna Jameson as we congratulate graduates for Diploma in Child and Youth Care. Linda Ya Adoma Adjaman. Tanisha Batix. Caitlin Sarah Brown. Allison Jane May Carr. Victoria Elaine Delory. Victoria Ashlyn Erickson. <laughs> Brianna Elizabeth Lay Ewing. <laughs> Alicia Brittany Pamela Fisher. Caitlin Jacqueline Flatch. Carissa Marie Glenn. Trisha Lee Hicks. Kristen Ashley Kilmarnock. Madeline, Madeline, Madeline. 
Shasali Evelyn Mataway with distinction. Daniel Scott Phillips. Danica Page Scott. Marlo Alexandra Smart. Natasha Adina Turner. And lastly, Crystal Brianne Villeneuve. And now to present graduates for Diploma in Disability Studies, Leadership and Community, please welcome Program Chair Karen Heslop. Karim Ali Heng. Rashpreet Kaur Daliwa. <laughs> Natasha Alora Garlinski. <laughs> Elaine Roseanne Gordon. Gurmeet Kaur. <laughs> Heidi Suzanne Coos with distinction. <laughs> Unique Jilan Providence. Jacqueline Louise Ryan with distinction. And lastly, Kelsey Jenna Lee Zarouk with distinction. And now, to present graduates for Diploma in Early Learning and Child Care, please welcome Program Chair Dr. Jane Hughes. Elizabeth Kayla Betcher. Cortan Bolduc. Caitlin Marie Burgess.
Kerry Marie Callahan. <clears throat> Melanie Olipika Annie Chislett. <clears throat> Naima Tahir Chowdhury. Courtney Janelle Clements. Kimberly Ann Duncan. Lindsay Ann Flynn. Taylor Elizabeth Hines. Christine Katabazi. Amanpreet Kaur. Baljeet Kaur. <clears throat> Sukhbir Kaur. <clears throat> Samantha Joan Kemmel. Kanwal Khalil. Ni Tao Lai. Sheena S. Lachman. Sasha Raywin Leftley. Janelle Marie McGregor. Nicole Mastelero. Linnea Genevieve Mauer. <clears throat> Rebecca McDonald Macbeth. <clears throat> Rebecca Lynn McCarran. Jaya Jania Perfecto Naval. <clears throat> Yung T. Mai Nguyen. <clears throat> G. He Park. Tegan Helen Irene Peregrim with distinction. (laughs) 
Nicole Lynn Prapersi. Nicolin Heather Rafuse. Janina Joy Roberts. Samantha Cheryl Rush. Madison Presley Sauer. Erica Lara Scaly, with distinction. Catherine Elizabeth Scriber. Corey Lynn Scott. <laughs> Rakshanda Sohai. Elizabeth St. Pierre. <laughs> Nadia Maria Tamburo. <laughs> Sarah Tan. Sarah Ann Yukach. <laughs> Baoying Wang. <laughs> Marissa Ann Warren. Emily Ann Elizabeth Wald. <laughs> and lastly, Renshen Rick Zhang. And now to present graduates for Diploma in Hearing Aid Practitioner, please welcome faculty, Tara Windsor. <laughs> Lastly, Shannon Ella May Eves. And now to present 
Candidates for Certificate in Occupational Health Nursing, please welcome faculty and coordinator Sharon Chadwick. Barbara Jean Carter, with distinction. Tracy Lynn Swanby, lastly. And now to present graduates for certificate in post-basic nursing in gerontology and palliative care, please welcome program chair, Gail Couch. Rupakshi Bulha. Amrit Pal Kor Bra. <laughs> Babaljit Kor Bra. <laughs> Jaspreet Kor Dillon. Prab Kiran Man. And lastly, Dana Elizabeth Wolf. And now we present graduates for certificate, post-basic certificate in wound management. And lastly, Catherine Mary Embury. And now to present graduates for Diploma in Psychiatric Nursing. Please welcome Program Chair and our Mace Bearer, Marian Anderson. Benedicta Akanaji Akaya. Neha Bardwaj. Dana Marie Blackwell. Leah Aaron Bloomhagen with distinction. Christina Lee Bonani. Justin Bourne.
John Brian Burton. Amanda Lynn Chamberlain. Ashley Craig. Patrick James Cruz. Rose Ann Precious de Guzman. Karen Elizabeth Dean. Michelle Renee Direct. Anna Susan Dixon. Rebecca Suzanne Lynn Everett. Jasmine D. Ganji. Shanoa Lee Harbridge. Madison Joy Headland. <laughs> Jeffrey Lewis Joseph Horkey. <laughs> Christy Kang. Jesse Cole Warren Krenzler. Andrea Kathleen Leyland. Sydney Aletta May Moziak with distinction. Heather Michelle Nelson. Danielle Lee O'Keefe. Dante Roncales Pajunistan. Shelby Marie Prosser. Rebecca Louise Pugh. Diane Marlene Rankin. Tonya Suzanne Ratushnik. <laughs> Shay Ann Samuelson. <laughs> Shay 
Cheryl Brianne Chamber. Shayla Lynn Splett. Alyssa Page Stockall. Madeline Aaron Toller. With distinction. Michael Ronald Ernest. Megan Lee Wasilkevich. And lastly, Julie Diane Weiss. And now to present graduates for Diploma in Social Work. Please welcome Program Chair, <laughs> Kathleen Quinn. <laughs> Shazia Noor Amiri. John Paul Arquetta. Oh my. <laughs> he did some great dancing right there. Adam G. Armstrong. Natalia Raquel Avila. Megan Leanne Ballantyne. Jenny Laura Lynn Blue. Jamie Dawn Cox. Jamie Marie Evelyn de Gagne. Alyssa Ray Deutscher. Courtney Jacina De Weird. <laughs> Brady John Dreyer. Lindsay Catherine Funk. <laughs> C. 
Sarah Dawn Halloran. Jean Esther Hansen. Robin Christine Hawes. Danielle Leanne Haymore. <laughs> Catherine Rebecca Hoffman with distinction. <laughs> Maria Lida Hoffman. Cassandra Marie Langvand. <laughs> Tina Amy Matthews with distinction. Jolene Jereen Marie McNabb. <laughs> Brittany Lynn Minnelli with distinction. Cody Richard Morell. <laughs> Amy Corrine Prignitz. <laughs> Stephen Martin Quinn. Christiane Dawn Reschke. <laughs> Carrie Ray Rosser. Michelle Ann Royer. Hilachona Slump. Teresa Mary Smith. Patricia Sond. <laughs> Ashley Marie Strobel. <laughs> Kendra Jean Sutherland. Christina Nyuk Fung Tai. <laughs> J. 
Jalisa Vanessa Thomas. Anne Toll. Kyla Walker. Jennifer Lynn Ward with distinction. Jaren Valerie Weir. Vanessa Lynn Welsh. Samantha Caitlin With. And lastly, Mary Elizabeth Yusup. And now please welcome graduates for Certificate in Special Needs Educational Assistant. Please welcome to present our graduates, Program Chair, Dr. Jan Sunmark. Nancy Ray Anderson. Harpreet Kaur Bajaj. <laughs> Ramanpreet Kaur Bawa. <laughs> Sonia Christina Deleu. Crystal Lynn Bouvier Dubay, with distinction. <laughs> Shelley Arlene Duker, with distinction. <laughs> Christina Tumalad Elie, with distinction. Joanne Kathleen Henderson. Shirley Isidore. Alex Kubernus, with distinction. Shannon L. Lund. Chelsea Raquel Moffat.
Kathleen Amanda Morkin. Caitlin Breyer Olson, with distinction. Razna Pacha. Sarah Amanda Parada. Emily Danielle Phillips with distinction. Mary Ellen Serafina. <laughs> Brenly Rose Todorak. <laughs> Louise Marie Wall with distinction. Dun King Wang with distinction. <laughs> Stephanie Wu with distinction. Ji Xu. And lastly, Nicole Carol Zacharak. And now to present graduates for Diploma in Therapist Assistant, please welcome faculty Jody Marshall. Karis Victoria Bell. Ashley Elaine Boyce with distinction. Manpreet Kaur Brower with distinction. Felicia Marie Budzician with distinction. Christy Dawn Carlton. Patricia Chai. <laughs> Leslie L. Christensen Callow with distinction.
Candice Marie Dooley. Chelsea Hanel Doucet. Marcia Alexandra Giraldes. Amber Michelle Gillespie with distinction. Kayleen Nicole Granoski. Miley Dawn Halverson. Rebecca Louise Hetsy. Stephanie May Lowinger with distinction. Taryn Lindsay Malcolm. Sinead Elizabeth McDonald. Jessica Rose McNichol. Alexa Haley Mueller. Elizabeth Ann Murphy with distinction. Kyle Blaine Nahorny with distinction. Chelsea Ray Normando with distinction. Kelly Dawn Ustendorp with distinction. Simratpal Kaur Panu. <laughs> Melanie Caroline Rabbit. Morgan Jean Sleep with distinction. <laughs> Ashley Patricia M. Tasker. Elton Tang with distinction. Oh, yeah. 
Brianne Tracy Trinchuk with distinction. Deanna Turnbull. Brandy Lee Turner. Lori Emmeline Vigno. Rochelle Lynn Wasilek. And lastly, Anastasia Mary Zorobiak, with distinction. We now recognize those graduates in the Faculty of Health and Community Studies unable to be present whose names are listed in the program. Thank you kindly. Thank you, Dean Bookhalter. At this time, we'll wait a few minutes for our graduates to make their way uh, from behind the stage and back to their seats before we proceed with the ceremony. Our graduates now return to their seats. This concludes the presentation of our graduates. Please join me now in acknowledging our graduating class of 2014. now move to the presentation of student awards. I would like to call on Dean Bookhalter to present the Dean's Medal for Academic Excellence for the Faculty of Health and Community Studies. Dean's Medals are awarded in the Faculty of Health and Community Studies to graduates who have achieved the highest graduating grade point average in their class, combined with demonstrated excellence in practice. One award may be granted for a graduate in a diploma program and one award for a graduate in a degree program. It was tough to choose. 
This year's Dean's Medal for Academic Excellence in a Diploma Program is awarded to Jacqueline Ryan, a graduate of the Disability Studies Leadership and Community Diploma Program. Congratulations, Jacqueline. This year's Dean's Medal for Academic Excellence in a Degree Program is awarded to Miriam Klutzny, a graduate of the Bachelor of Child and Youth Care Program. On behalf of McEwen University, congratulations, Miriam and Jackie. Thank you, Dean Bookhalter. I would like to now call upon Catherine Heslip, Vice President, Student Services, to present the McEwen Medal of academic excellence. Thank you, Mike. The McEwen Medal of Academic Excellence is awarded to graduates who have achieved a graduation grade point average of 3.7 or higher while completing their credential within a specified period of time. This year, we had a tie. The recipients of this year's McEwen Medals are Audrey Hanrahan and Andrea Hanrahan, both graduates of the Therapist Assistant, Physical Therapist and Occupational Therapist programs. Unfortunately, neither Audrey or Andrea were able to join us this afternoon. However, on behalf of McEwen University, please join me in congratulating Audrey and Andrea. And now, I would like to call upon Dr. Atkinson to present the President's Medal of Academic Excellence and Student Leadership. I'm exceptionally pleased to present this year's President's Medal of Academic Excellence and Student Leadership. Introduced during the university's 40th anniversary in 2012, this medal is intended to recognize both outstanding academic achievement and significant contributions made to enhancing the student experience and the life of McEwen University. One medal may be awarded for a certificate or a diploma and one for a degree program. The President's Medal is one of the most distinguished awards that McEwen awards, and this year's recipient for the Certificate or Diploma Program, President's Medal of Academic Excellence and Student Leadership, graduating today with a Social Work Diploma, is Samantha Whippeth.
Thank you, Dean Buchhalter, Vice President Heslop, and President Atkinson. At this time, let's have another round of applause for our student award winners. I would like to now ask Mr. Braden Arth of the Alumni Advisory Council to provide a welcome to the newest members of our university alumni family. Well, good afternoon, everyone. You did it. I know some of you by now are probably thinking, all right, I made it through this ceremony. I finally did it. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a big class here, definitely. Congratulations. On behalf of the Alumni Relations and Services, I'm very pleased to be one of the first to congratulate you. This is the apex of your career with McEwen University to this point. You've put a tremendous amount of work, energy, and financial capital to get to where you are today. You should be extremely proud. I would also like to take this opportunity to welcome you as the newest alumni members. You are now a part of a community of over 50,000 alumni who have graduated before you from this school. Whether they're in Edmonton, rural Alberta, or around the world, graduates of McEwen University continue to make an impact in their communities and in their working lives. Each and every day, graduates like you are bringing knowledge to life. Now, we know each of your paths are gonna be unique as you are, but the one thing that will always connect you is your relationship with the university and the friendships you made along the way. I'm sure as you look around you today, you realize that you've made some very special and lifelong friendships. Now, I, I hope it puts it in perspective, but when you cross this, this stage today, you've opened a new chapter of your life, a very exciting chapter, and it's an adventure for you and only you. So while we're here to celebrate this milestone with you, we're also here to celebrate your life accomplishments. We want to hear from you in two, five, 15 years from now. We want to be able to talk to other alumni, students, and faculty about the stories you've been able to accomplish. As you move through the next phase in your careers in life, we hope you take a little bit of us with you and always remember to come back and visit. Congratulations again, and we wish you the very best in your future endeavors and hope you'll use the alumni office to stay in touch with your McEwen family. Congrats. Thank you, Mr. Arth. This brings us to the closing moments of our ceremony. Yes. <laughs> and at this time, I would like to thank all of McEwen University volunteers, faculty, and staff who helped make today possible. And while there are many individuals who make convocation possible, I would like to single out three of them for special mention. First of all, Michelle Stevenson of the President's Office, who has masterfully orchestrated the complexities of convocation ceremonies. Next, Rebecca Chelmick of our Alumni Office, who organized our distinguished alumni and the special alumni welcome and celebration outside the Windspear. And lastly, and by no means least, Anthony Falls, Conference and Event Services, who tirelessly and energetically attended to the many details necessary to make an event like this possible. This marks Anthony's last convocation ceremony at McEwen as he is moving to Vancouver. And so with that, we invite all our alumni to join the alumni celebration which is taking place in the white tent located at the front of the Windspear. And now I would like to call upon our public board member, Willie Grieve, to close convocation. Seems I'm always standing in between people and their party. <laughs> so I'll go as, so congratulations to all the graduates. Remember the motto of McEwen University.
descendo floremus. Through learning, we flourish. So now I'd like to invite all graduates to express their appreciation to the people who supported them throughout their educational journey, at least thus far. So would the faculty members please rise. Right. <laughs> like Disneyland in here. Would the family and friends of our graduates please rise? Right. And now in turn, I'd like to invite our audience, faculty, and staff to join me in congratulating our graduates of 2014. <laughs> Just about there. I'm going to ask that you remain standing during the recessional and wait until the graduates have left the performance chamber before you exit. Mace Bearer, University Registrar, will you please lead the recessional? I declare this convocation closed. <laughs> <laughs>